Mm, that's a nice way to start the day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm sorry I had to work late last night. Oh, I'm sorry I crashed before you even got home. Mm. Mm. You know something? I don't think mm. I care for falling asleep without you next to me. <laughs> Actually, you put in enough hours with this fashion show thing, and you might not have to think about it again until after we're already married and back from our honeymoon. Mm. If we ever decide to come back from our honeymoon. Mm. I like the sound of that. That's actually what I was doing last night. I was uh, talking to some travel agents and uh, getting good advice on some of the most romantic honeymoon destinations. Uh, which I could run by you, but I think you might want it to be a surprise. Uh, actually, um... I have to run something by you. Okay, you first. When you hit the runway wearing this magical jewel, it is going to guarantee the success of the line. I mean, the power of the diamond is here for you now. It's working for you. Don't dissipate it by waiting. God, I know. It's just, I, I promised Liam. And you're gonna keep that promise. It's just, it's, it's delayed a little bit. This is how it has to be. The line has momentum. Let's keep that. <sighs> okay. Okay, the earlier showing it is. Oh, you're pretty pleased with yourself, aren't you, Mom? Oh, sweetheart. Whatever do you mean? Right. Right, like we both don't know what you've done. Oh, helping convince Rick to keep the fashion show as originally scheduled at its earlier date. Conveniently only... messed with Liam and Hope's wedding plans. I like to think that I'm looking out for everyone's best interests. Oh. Rick's, mm -hmm. Forrester Creations, and my son's. Right. What's wrong with that? <laughs> Look, I gotta say this before you marry Liam. Quiet. What you've come to mean to me, how I feel about you, you've changed my life. And I don't mean finding my dad, I mean you. You've changed me. Don't marry my brother. Look, I'm not saying that I don't appreciate having you on my side. Oh, sweetheart. I am always going to be on your side. Oh, I know. But, as I keep saying, I'm, I refuse to push myself on home. Of course not. It's not who you are. I'm just saying, I, I'm not sure that I have a future with hope, or at least one that I was hoping for. Well, the power of that diamond alone. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. In the meantime... Meantime, we need to get Caroline to sign off on these changes. Okay, well, I would also like Hope's input as well. Okay. She has to be in the office by now, right? Unless she's still at home, trying to keep her relationship with Liam from unraveling yet again. Why do I get the feeling I'm not going to like what you're about to tell me? Because it is the last thing that I want to tell you this close to our wedding. Is about the wedding? Yes, and it's going to disappoint you just as much as it disappointed me, but it can't be helped. And I hope that you'll understand. Right? Going to Mexico, bringing back this beauty? <laughs> Actually, hope so, to charm Ricardo into loaning it to us. Yeah, if it weren't for her, all of this might not be happening. Has anyone heard from Hope today? She texted me. She's going to be a little bit late. Okay, but what about the meeting? We were supposed to be going over the final preparations for the show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'd like her to um, okay a few of my changes as well. Why don't you run it by Caroline? She can update Hope when she gets here. As for you, Mr. Pat Attorney, where do we stand as far as rip-off artists trying to capitalize on the success of our up-and-coming show? Check this out. I will be right with you. Oh, Andrea, make it snappy. Yeah. Mm. 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 Mm
Maybe you should call her. Maybe we should stay out of it. Let whatever happens happen. Liam is not going to be pleased about another delay. If he loves Hope, he'll understand. Not put any more pressure on her. You know, honey, that is what you would do. But Liam is not you. He's been juggling two women for years, raising their hopes and dashing them. Hope deserves a lot better. I agree, but what else can I what do? What if he gives her grief about putting work before him? I mean, for Liam, it's all about Liam. Why should this be any different? Okay, well, just so you know, this is my I understand face. Okay, well, maybe you should hear what I have to say first. Honestly, whatever it is, as long as it's not interfering with our wedding, I'm good. How do you define interfere? No, 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 I, what now? I, I, what? I, I had a meeting. Well, yeah, what about it? Um, Rick has suggested that we move the fashion show up to an earlier oh. date for what turns out to be a lot of really good reasons. Come on, I thought the wedding was going to be our top priority. Yeah, I know, and if there were any other way... Yeah, there's another way. You just postpone the fashion show until after the wedding, after we're back from the honeymoon. I suggested that. I did suggest that, and Rick said it won't work. I'm sorry. Why? What is the rush? Well, Rick and the others agree that we have the momentum with us now. You know, and if we postpone, then we risk losing out to other designers who are launching their collections. Yeah, now, listen, I get that. Now, I'm a businessman, too. And timing is everything. Okay, but... so you understand how important timing is, especially when you have Whoa. a rare, exquisite diamond in your possession. One that you're keeping oh, under okay. wraps for the ultimate okay. payoff that oh. will only work if there are no leaks. <laughs> okay, I hear you. I hear you. But... Why is Rick springing this on you now? He's not really doing that. It's just kind of a seize the moment kind of thing. Wait a second. When you said in the meeting, you're talking about the others at the meeting. Mm -hmm. Who exactly are we talking about here? I mean, Caroline, obviously. Yeah. And my half-brother and his mom. Yes. Okay, see, that right there. What, that, why doesn't it surprise me that Wyatt and Quinn are pushing this too? Jared, there's not going to be any exclusive showings. You're going to have to wait with everyone else. All right. <clears throat> Ernesto's on his way. I cannot believe I forgot the necklace to that dress. Mom, relax. Look, Caroline's designs are gorgeous. You have totally outdone yourself on the accessories and add that to the hope for the future diamond. How can we lose? How can you be this calm? Actually, I'm taking a page out of Caroline's book. Look at how focused she is. Yeah, but it's not her first fashion show. It's not ours either. Oh, but this is our biggest, and the stakes are so high in more ways than one. Mom, come on. Hey. You were pinning way too much on this. So what if Hope and Liam's wedding gets postponed? So what if Liam gets upset momentarily. He's not going to go stalking off to Paris and shack up with his ex-wife. Why not? That's been his pattern up until now. Juggling <sighs> two women at once. You know, I wouldn't be surprised. It wouldn't surprise me if this is the most talked about fashion show in Forrester history. I mean, <laughs> for all the right reasons, of course. But when I think back to all the embarrassing moments that have happened in the Forrester fashion shows of the past. Wait, uh, do you, you mean like when um, Liam proposed to Hope on the runway? Well, yeah, but you know, that was more surprising than it was embarrassing. But, you know, what, what I know, I was, wasn't even working here at the time. I was still over at International. But, yeah, but you know I mean, what I'm seriously, like all these years later and all this drama later and they're still not married. I don't know, it kind of makes you wonder. I know that you have issues with Wyatt, but it wasn't his call. 
But it wasn't Quinn's. It was Rick. <laughs> for the reasons I just explained. I know. Reasons you agree with, right? Well, I mean, they make excellent business sense. And as president, you know, Rick is responsible for the financial well-being of the company. Even if it means pushing our wedding back. But I won't let him forget about this. <laughs> yeah, neither will I. <laughs> I'm sorry, babe. I really am. Oh, I want to be your wife. And we will have our wedding. And we will start our life together very, very, very soon. You promise? Yes, I promise. Really? Yes. You promise? Yes. You sure? Yes. You sure? Yes. Because I swear. <laughs> I promise. I promise. <laughs> Then put Hannah on the phone. This is the last thing we need the day before a show. What do you mean the van is stuck on the 405? My mom's... Please. Okay, just stay there. I'm gonna send someone to you, okay? You agree? These earrings with this dress? You, you don't agree? It's genius. The combination is completely unexpected. It's very fashion forward. You know what is on its way. You said that 30 minutes ago. I need the necklace here now. Yeah, and we need a new van, okay? Something more dependable. Okay, it was not in the budget. That's because we're a small operation. But something tells me that things are about to change. All right, uh, yeah, that's great. Uh, just stay by. All right, she texted me. She's going to be late. I keep trying to call Hope's phone, but I'm getting her voicemail. She should be here. Well, especially because it's her line and she's the inspiration. Well, what? she's everybody's inspiration. I mean, that's what Hope for the Future is all about, right? Um, it's not just a collection of clothes and jewelry. Uh, it's a jewelry line that complements Caroline's flawless designs. Oh, my God. Did Rick Forrester just use the F word, flawless? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> really? Mm, really. Look, I don't want to jinx anything, but I just want to say how proud I am of everyone. Caroline, you have never been more on top of your game than you are right now. Quinn, Wyatt, can't say enough about our company's collaborations and what a terrific opportunity this is creating for all of us. I now understand why Hope was so enthused about bringing you on board and singing your praises, which I'm sure she would be doing <laughs> if she were here. <laughs> probably waiting for you. Wondering where you are. Doesn't matter. They can manage without me for a little longer. <laughs> I don't know if Wyatt can. I bet he's planning another trip for you two right now. Maybe there's an undiscovered gem in the Amazon jungle or on the moon. Hey. Yeah? You know that's how I used to feel about Steffi, right? Always wondering what's next when she was still in your life and then I was so insecure. Well, you're not insecure now. No. Even though there was a time when I thought you were still trying to hold on to us both, but those days are gone now. Steffi's gone. I know that you're committed to me because of all the wonderful things you've done for me. Like that video you made. Just for me. Oh, <laughs> Liam, it was such a labor of love. You know, Wyatt can bring me the Hope Diamond. He can... Give me all of Cleopatra's jewels, the king's ransom. I don't care. It doesn't matter because my heart belongs to you. <laughs>